you. Rachel Garceau, six on your side. Now, Steve Liebenthal with the On Your Side forecast. As promised, temperatures are warmer today than they were yesterday. That will continue into tomorrow before we have a brief cool down. It's the time of year that the insects can really come out. This kind of looks like a scene from an Alfred Hitchcock movie with these yellow jackets. I'm guessing that's what they are, or wasps, whatever you want to call them, kind of attacking our tower cam on top of the red line. But beyond those, you can see the clear skies over southern Idaho. That has been the case throughout the day today and will remain the case pretty much for tomorrow, though we'll see a little more cloud cover in the McCall area than we're seeing today. As you can see here, there are a few clouds over Payette Lake. We'll see a little more cloudiness tomorrow after and that could lead to thunderstorms in the afternoon for some of those mountain locations. That's tomorrow. We are seeing some thunderstorms around Baker City right now. It doesn't look like they'll make it into Idaho. But we start out warmer tomorrow, 68 degrees already by 8 a.m. By 10, we're almost up to 80 degrees, passing the 80s by noon and into the 90s around 3 or 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll hit that 90 degree mark. Temperatures going up to around 94 degrees for our afternoon high in Boise and some valley locations could get even hotter than that, especially in the lower Treasure Valley around Ontario. So 94 tomorrow, then a cool down for Sunday and Monday as a trough of low pressure moves in. After that, temperatures rising and our computer models now saying 99 degrees on Wednesday. And if that happens, there are some places in the valley that could hit the triple digits for the first time. Either way, it will be the hottest day so far this year. There's 92 for Ontario today, 76 in McCall. It's 75 degrees right now in Stanley, where it's been just a beautiful day. Lots of boats out on Redfish Lake. There has been some cloud cover coming and going, but 77 degrees about 20 minutes ago. The temperature dropping now in the mid-70s, and tomorrow will be warmer in Stanley, as well as here in the valley, shooting for a high of 79 degrees, and then a chance of thunderstorms for Sunday into Monday as that trough of low pressure moves in. But not much in the way of cloud cover. You see just these speckly clouds here, just those cumulus clouds that pop up because of the extra lift in the atmosphere from the mountains. And that's about it, except these thunderstorms uh, that are hitting the Baker City area. Moving off to the east, we're keeping a close eye on this cluster. Could move across the border into the uh, mountains of Idaho. The Clearwater Mountains especially should not have much impact in our viewing area. There's that area of low pressure I was talking about. It will be dropping to the south, but before it does, we'll get a warm flow of air coming in from the southwest. And that's why our temperature will heat up tomorrow afternoon before that low drops in on Sunday and Monday. That will briefly cool our temperatures before we see another spike up to the mid 90s. And as you saw just a few minutes ago, the possibility of triple digits in some valley locations, but not for tomorrow. Tomorrow will hit the mid 90s and there's your possibility of a thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon around Sun Valley. Could see a bit of that around Stanley as well. And you see one blip up here just to the north of McCall. If you live in New Meadows, don't be surprised if you see a thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon. Possibility is there again for Sunday afternoon, uh, mostly around the Stanley area, but don't be surprised in McCall if you see a thunderstorm popping up either tomorrow or Sunday, even Monday and Tuesday, the possibility as that low moves in. In the meantime, mostly sunny skies here in the valley. Winds out of the southeast, but only 5 to 15 miles per hour. Morning lows around 60 degrees, afternoon highs in the mid-90s. In the west central mountains, things warming up as well. Check out Garden Valley up to 93 degrees tomorrow afternoon. 82 is our forecast high from McCall. I think we'll probably get a little warmer than 88 in Riggins. And 79 is our forecast high in Stanley after a morning low of 40 degrees. Fairfield up to 85 degrees. A bit of a breeze on the Camas Prairie, but not bad. A bit breezy in the Magic Valley as well, but nothing like you're not used to. You see the possibility of some showers popping up there with afternoon highs in the 90s. And our extended forecast shows that cool down for Sunday and Monday. We have a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon on Monday and Tuesday, but it's only a 20% chance, so more likely that it won't happen. Then we start to warm right back up by Wednesday close to 100 degrees and looks Ooh. like that'll last right into next weekend. So yeah. the triple digits are in view. I'm not sure if we'll get there or not on Wednesday. We'll keep a close eye on that. The computer model's kind of going back and forth, but it will definitely be the hottest day so far this Well, the year. bugs apparently like the heat, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm up in the mountains, uh, mountain biking this morning. Mm -hmm. I know you don't believe me, but I was. <laughs> he <laughs> said he was going to. The gnats, the gnats are out, and oh. you have to learn how to breathe through your teeth <laughs> because otherwise it goes right down the gullet, and but, that's not fun. And if it doesn't go down the gullet, then you just yeah, have right a black teeth. grill there. Yeah, I'm a motorcycle rider, so I'm used to that. Nice. All right, thanks, Steve. Well, there's no shortage 